G'day guys, I'm Quackerjack, and if you're sitting back watching this video right now, you probably love motorcycles just as much as I do. In my opinion, there's nothing better than ripping up some mountain roads on your trusty two-wheeled steed and just getting away from it all. Unfortunately, riding a motorcycle isn't all fun and games, and in the two years I've had the pleasure of owning and riding my own, I've discovered both the good and the bad sides about it. So today, we are discussing the seven worst parts of riding a motorcycle, and stick around to the end to find out what I think tops them all. Firstly, and every new rider will discover this very quickly, is that as soon as you hop on a motorcycle, you seem to be granted the power of invisibility. Look, when you're on a bike, cars just don't take notice of you, whether it be because we fit perfectly in their blind spot, or just because drivers are oblivious. Look, the fact is, you're just gonna have to constantly ride on the defensive, and be on the lookout for cars wandering into your lane or about to cut you off. Now, some riders think that having a loud exhaust can solve this, and it might to a certain degree, with a lot of people saying loud pipes save lives. But the fact is, most cars will probably just not see you. Now, second is the stigma attached. Everybody seems to know somebody that's been in a motorcycle accident or been in a really close call, and they won't hesitate to tell you about it as well. When you mention that you ride a bike, you are immediately going to be labeled as reckless and a future organ donor. Tell people you ride a sport bike, oh, you must be that one that was doing wheelies up my street. Ride a cruiser, what gang are you in? And where's your big beard and leathers? Third thing on the list of worst things about riding a motorcycle is the cost. I'll be honest, when I was first looking to get my motorcycle, a huge plus for me was going to be that it was gonna be economical and cheap. However, if you're really gonna get into motorcycling, it's probably not going to be that way. There are a lot of unexpected costs that come up too. I'm talking gear with the bare minimums being helmet, gloves and jacket, maintenance, tires, mods if you choose to go down that route too. They don't tell you this when you first get your motorcycle, but you'll have to actually change your tires a lot more frequently than when you do on a car. And that's because your motorcycle's only got two points of contact with the road instead of four on a car. And unless you learn how to do basic maintenance on your bike yourself, those costs can really add up as well. Next on the list is a big one, and it's the dangers and general sense of vulnerability. If you're driving a car, sure you have to be aware of dangers on the road, but nowhere near as much as you do when you're on a motorcycle. Think of it this way, riding a motorcycle is like living in Australia. Everything is out to kill you. <laughs> Animals, cars, stones, potholes, sand, fallen branches, seeds, wind, rain, oil on the road. These are just some of the dangers that you'll be faced every time you take out your motorcycle. I mean, you don't need to worry about your car falling over, do you? Well, different story on a motorcycle. A good rider in my books is not a fast one, but a safe one. All right, number five is helmets and gear. Now I know this stuff is there to help save our lives when all of those dangers come up, but they can be really annoying sometimes. Getting bugs in your helmet, having to sneeze in there, or riding past some roadkill and having that stench stuck in there for the next few hundred meters down the road. Look, it's not nice. <laughs> oh, and of course the beautiful helmet hair that we all get as well. Now if you're a safe rider and gear up as you should, unlike a lot of the people I see here around the coast, that means that our outfit choices are a little bit limited and in places like Australia where right now it's like 32, 33 degrees, I don't know if you can see the sweat dripping off me, uh, you know, long pants and a big jacket when you go riding, aren't ideal. Number six is the carrying capacity or lack thereof. This is a pretty obvious one. Unless you've got those huge saddlebags on either side, what you can carry on a ride is pretty limited. If I could realistically only own a motorcycle, I would. But having to carry things for work or going to do things like groceries is just sort of not possible on a motorcycle. I mean, I barely got room for a passenger on there. Now, lastly, and as stated, I think the worst thing about riding a motorcycle is not riding a motorcycle. Let me explain. As we just stated, it's not always possible to ride a motorcycle. Maybe the weather's shit outside, you have to go get groceries, or you know, you just choose to take the car. Nothing wrong with that. So when you're out driving your car and you're nice and comfortable in your little bubble and you see a motorcycle go past, your heart sinks. You think, damn, that could be me right now. Out there, experiencing the road, enjoying it properly. Hmm, but no. Let me tell you, the FOMO hits hardest when you're stuck in traffic and you see those motorcycles going down the middle lane or the outside, bypassing it completely, and you think, that could be me. 
you almost want to wind down your window and go, hey, hey, I ride too. But no, today you're just another normie in your car. Now look, of course all of these things suck, but they're nowhere near enough to stop us from getting out there and fully enjoying our motorcycles. We deal with these grievances because the positives so far outweigh the negatives and the passion for riding is strong. So there you have it guys. That is what I think is the seven worst things about riding a motorcycle. Do you agree? What do you reckon is the worst part? If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and consider subscribing to join our fast growing motorcycle loving family. I want to thank you again for watching. Until next time, see ya.